Hi, I'm Jill Conrad, and I'm here with Mario Martinez, who's... What are you? What are you? <laughs> Something. Van he's Gressen. a big deal. He's, he's the CEO of Van Gressen. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. And then I'm here with Sherry Lefton, and she's even a bigger deal than Mario. Because uh, you were no, the star of a recent movie. You were just in on the story of sales, right? Yes. And it was a Salesforce documentary, and both of you guys were there, and... But she's the bigger deal. She's the bigger deal. She's the bigger deal. Well, she no, got more no, playtime. You know she got more playtime. Play <laughs> that's what's important, and that's how we measure that's, that's it. That's how you measure it. The but you got a lot. It was huge. I just want everybody to know it was huge. Huge. We had a bigger audience than Michelle Obama. You, you should have seen all the people. It was I mean, huge. They did not you couldn't even a, count. Huge. Huge. Wow. I mean, like, I am so impressed. And I am just sitting here at this table with people. There are mobs around us. They can't I mean, even show you people around us. If you counted the people. It, the, 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 there was, it was the, the line was amazing. Yes. You had to count all the people. You could like if you count all the people and laid it out on like a little graph, it would Around be like the world just a couple times. everywhere. Yes. Huge. So hey now, Mario, you're supposed to give show. content. Remember, we're supposed to give to our audience. Well, Jill's asking ask the questions. Oh, oh, okay. Like so, <laughs> what intelligent thing did you have to say? I think I what I like the most about the session that we just did on the story of sales, where what are what are some of the biggest mistakes? that salespeople make. And my answer was, is not responding to change. Mm. And if you think about this, and I, I asked Sherry, I said, Sherry, what are the companies, Apple, Netflix, Uber, or Lyft, uh, uh, have in common with, um, or all have in common? And your answer was? They're huge. They're huge. And, and that's all she and, can talk uh, about right huge. Now. Yes. And they're disruptors. Disruptors. They disrupted the market. Absolutely disrupted the marketplace. Now think about this. If you think about Apple, Apple didn't crush the music industry. No, no, no. What happened was, is buyers demanded that you don't require me to buy a CD just to get my one favorite song. And Apple came out with something that was digital disruption. Yes. Think about the concept of Blockbuster. Blockbuster didn't die because Netflix came on the scene. Blockbuster late died fees. because of late fees. Video jail. And you had a top video jail. Yeah, if you didn't bring the, 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 the video back, you're screwed. You're getting late fees and you're getting charges. Okay, now let me just ask you this. How does this relate to salespeople? Okay. Yeah, so so these are all changes that happen as a result of buyers demanding mm -hmm. change. Okay. The changing dynamic of the buyer market, right? And companies, whole companies, massive brands didn't respond to this. Okay. And I think if you think about this from the line of sales and sales leaders, we're in an era right now of something called digital disruption. The digital transformation. Transformation. It is undeniable, undeniable that, comp that buyers are utilizing channels like social and digital video and those types of things to be able to engage with buyers. And we as a selling community, we have to respond okay. to that. Yep. Okay, and what agree. do you have to say besides agree? <laughs> I could disagree. <laughs> no, no, you I want to expand on what he's you know, going to say if you agree. I, I think that one of the things Jim Hopkins asked me, uh, who runs Quotable at Salesforce, is why do we know what to do? Because what you're saying, we all know to do that. We all know we're supposed to use social, right? We all know we're supposed to give the customer an amazing experience and be customer obsessed, but we still don't do it. So Why? that was it. Well, I call. I have an acronym for it. I call it Sales Hell. Okay. And, and what I mean by that is because think about for those of you who are watching, you know what to do very often. You know not to have the third glass of wine. You do it anyway, right? I mean, yes. you do it. Do you do? I have never you done that. Do? Okay, never. I didn't think so. Me neither. <laughs> so, but but think about how many times you've read the book, you've taken the course, you know what to do, and you don't do it. I have an acronym for reasons. Number one, habit. Yes. So we have a habit. We do the same thing over and over again. We, yeah. you, know, you know, don't do social. We've never done it before. I'm not going to learn it now. I'm to do it too hard. Here's the biggest one. What? Hardest for me. Yes. Ego. 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 You? It's, the, it's an ego demon. I call them the four demons. And what that is, is it's like we're un coachable, I'm doing it right, yeah. um, you know, we don't want to look at how we need to change, maybe internally, and this is hard. And anytime you change, you get bad. So if you have an ego drive, and yes. you are doing something new, you're not good at it right now. I, I, exactly. You, you might suck. Yeah, you might suck. Yeah. So ego prevents us from doing what we know we should do. Um, the other big one, and Jill, you talk about this in your book, Agile Selling, which is amazing, is a lack of knowledge. 
you know, right now, if we're not lifelong learners, you know, we're never going to get any better. Yeah. Um, and then the last one is like how we feel right now at the end of the Salesforce day, laziness. And laziness leads to default behaviors like premature demonstration syndrome. Oh, premature <laughs> elaboration. Premature I mean, elaboration. Yeah, and what's that from, by the way? I don't know. Come on. No, too much premature. Too, too much premature <laughs> stuff going on. We're not going to go there. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, we're not going to yeah, go there. I'm yeah. related to connect all this. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of related. Just a little bit. <laughs> but I think the point is, is that we're, gonna, we're at a conference like this. We've got all this great information. Yes. The question is, are you going to implement it? Why do we know what to do, do and we still don't do it? Get out of hell. All right. I think that just about wraps it up. Thank you so much for this wonderful interview and your brilliant insights today. Thank you, Jill. Thanks, Jill. You're welcome. Bye, everyone. Bye.